What's going on guys? Welcome back to another outdoor late afternoon review, um, Huggies Beer Reviews. I'm going to try to make this one quick because I've been running long in a lot of my uh, recent videos. So I'll make this short and simple. We have an industrial IPA from the Diamond Knot Brewing Company in Washington State. Now this is their industrial IPA. Um, they started selling these at Total Wine. I started seeing them at Total Wine recently. I first picked up the regular IPA, had it, liked it, so I went back and picked up the industrial IPA, which is their double IPA, Let's see what that's all about. Um, I checked Beer Advocate, not a lot of ratings on Beer Advocate for Diamond Knots beers, so can't really go there. Um, they get positive reviews, but I think um, the regular IPA has like 50 something with the B plus. This doesn't even have a picture of it, it's got like 26 reviews, I, I think it's at a B, I'm not sure. But I really liked the regular IPA. That's why I picked up the industrial. You know, it, it's a tasty beer. It's from Washington State. They have a lot of hops up there. So, you know, it's one of those Northwest kind of hoppy West Coast brews. And I really like their uh, bottle art. Um, the scuba suit, the industrial on the regular IPA both have like a scuba suit kind of thing going on with the artwork. I like it. So we're going to sit outside, crack it open. You know, it's it's... It's 7.30, and I love summertime because the sun still hasn't set at 7.30, and I just got out of work about an hour and a half ago, and here I am finally about to enjoy myself a beer. And since we're outside, I love this thing. It's fucking beautiful. IPA goblet. And let's see how this... I think this is 7.9%, by the way. Failed to mention that. I've been sitting on this for a few weeks. Yeah, 7.9% alcohol by volume, 22 ounce bomber. And let's see how this goes down. Ooh, yeah, sweet malty. You smell the sweetness, caramel, rich sweetness, but there's a backbone of hoppiness and bitterness. Mmm. It's good. And you guys know I don't like the really malty, sweet double IPAs, but this is well balanced. I may not like this as much as it warms, but nice and cold, it is very well balanced because you get sweetness up front, kind of like a toffee, caramelly sweetness. but it's buried under citrusy, grapefruity, bitter, resinous hops. Not bad. More of that resinous hop on the finish. For us, for 7.9, almost 8% double IPA, the body's relatively light. Maybe not light, but you know, like a light medium. But this is pretty good. It's a sipping beer, it's not too cloying, it's not too heavy. It's only 7.9, so it's not too high in alcohol. Pretty good. A little too big, too rich, too heavy if you want a refreshing IPA, but to sip on something for a little while, this isn't bad. Um, I think if I go back and buy more of this, I'll get the regular IPA. It's more of a, a, a easy drinker. This is a bigger body, bigger beer, but I give this a glass half full. Um, damn fly. Fucking fly is fucking in my video. Um, there's better double IPAs out there, but they don't sell these for that much money. Um, I think this was like uh, $4.99, $3.99 or $4.99 for the bomber. So it's a pretty good deal. It's a tasty beer. And you know what, when I see more stuff from Diamond Knot out there, I'll pick it up because so far I've had two of their beers and I like what they have to offer. They know how to make a good IPA and they seem to have their shit right. So to the folks from Diamond Knot, thanks for the good beer.
everybody else out there, if you see it, try it. And uh, yeah, glass half full. I'm out of here, guys. Cheers.